I'm going to give you 2020 and where you need to be. And if you're not already prepared for what your 2020, 2022 customer experience needs to look like, you're late. So I'm going to share where we need to get to, what it's like today, and how that's affecting business in general and where we need to be. So the state of service. A great economy, which we're enjoying, always means poor customer service. People are busy. Customer service index scores are declining rapidly. Companies that shouldn't be in business are lasting. Even a turkey can fly in a tornado. But that tornado will stop, and we better be prepared for it. And a lot of turkeys will be falling. One of the fastest growing things businesses opening today have to do with buying time because as our personal income rises, our personal time is decreasing. And we're all trying as consumers to figure out how to balance that. We become time poor. So the fastest growing segments are companies that are helping consumers buy time. And it's scientific proof that people who invest in time-saving services are the happiest. So look at that. A lot of clients in this audience that are helping time-saving. Retail is making a comeback. People pronounced it dead a few years ago. And it is totally different. However, you'll see the ones that are doing it and doing it successful are merging experience with retail, experience tail, and they're doing it quite well. Welcome. So I've been here. Amazon Go is the ultimate grab-and-go right. shopping experience. You literally grab it off the shelves and go. You use the app to enter the store. Mm -hmm. Once you're in, you can put the phone away. And you shop the rest of the store just like you would any other store, with one key difference. When you're done, you can just walk out. not your parents' bank. Capital cafes are opening up all over. Amazon Go's are opening. Those movie theaters are exploding. That's its experience tale. And it's, 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 it's coming back and it's coming back strong. Also with a great economy means employee turnover is at an all-time high. There are more jobs available currently than people looking for jobs. However, you will see that that's going to be very short-lived. Why? Because the robots are coming. Actually, the robots are here. They are calling it several things. One is the employment apocalypse. In the next two decades, 50% of American white-collar jobs are at risk, either to automation or artificial intelligence, AI. 50% in the next two decades. It's also called the tech tsunami. By 2025, there will be more machines in the workforce than humans. Pretty scary. And professionals are not safe. AI will have the ability to do nearly every job currently done by humans including from lawyers to judges, nurses to doctors, driving to construction. The next five years, Gartner says 85% of customer actions will take place without a human interaction. And Jupiter Research predicts that chat box conversations will be responsible for a cost saving over $8 billion by 
uh, per year. Up from 20 million last year. Eight billion dollars. That's what, and that's okay. That's totally fine. We have to embrace the technology, the digital disruption. But it also means a lot of negative things for businesses that aren't prepared to position right. This is already happening. It was predicted that in the next five years, and it's happening a lot quicker, that marketing will be reporting to the customer experience. Your customer experience is your brand. Your customer experience is your best marketing. Be prepared. It's not the other way around. So we have a choice. Be disrupted or be the disruptor. Innovation today is never, it, it, it's commoditized. Years ago when you'd innovate, you'd have a shelf life of 12 to 18 months. Now, 90% of innovation is technology. Technology is the easiest thing to copy. It gives you six weeks to three months of a shelf life before everyone else in your industry, right? Everyone has Uber. Can you tell the difference between the Lyft and the Uber app? The websites, ordering, everything can be copied. So while technology is critical, that is not what is going to be the disruptor going forward. So the next two days is about how do we become the brand our customers can't live without? And how do we make price irrelevant? And that's what the next two days are about. And we are entering the relationship economy because that's the biggest skill set that needs to be taught in schools, to our children. And because we're in the touch screen era, the touch screen era is not a generational thing. Our grandparents are on Facebook. Our grandparents have iPads. The touch screen era is all of us. But as a result, our people skills have never been worse. And because there's no class on teaching children and our employees and every generation on how to build instant rapport with others, whether it be an acquaintance, a customer, a coworker, or even a stranger. And that's where the difference is going to lie. It is ironic with the digital disruption, that the disruptive force happening today is good old-fashioned relationships. And it's on us as business leaders to teach this as part of our training, how to build instant rapport, how to show forward, which you're going to hear, how to build that internally, externally with our vendors, with the you know, postman that walks in, how to teach it at home. And it's those few companies, the ones that are here, the revolutionaries, that will be the disruptors because technology is going to make us all the same. So we're at the 2018 customer service revolution. And if you came here, if you traveled, you left work, left your family, hoping to gain some marginal, incremental improvements, you came to the wrong place. Okay. Go visit the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. There's a casino right across the street. That's not what we're about. We are not about marginal incremental improvements. The next two days, the knowledge you're going to get from the people on the stage, and more importantly, the people at your tables on breaks that you meet out is going to revolutionize the way you look at things. And for the people that have been here before, it's a curse. It sucks experiencing things now because you're like, why did he say that? Why did he have to tell me that? But it's also going to be a self-examination for you. So what is the customer service revolution? Something we take very, very seriously. It is a radical overthrow of conventional business mentality designed to transform what employees and customers experience. This shift produces a culture that permeates into people's personal lives at home, and in the community, which in turn provides a business with higher sales, morale, brand loyalty, and my favorite, it makes 
price irrelevant. You can make price irrelevant. It doesn't mean you could double your prices or raise them 25%. What it does mean is based on the experience your brand consistently delivers, your customers don't know what your competition charges. They're not checking you against your competition. So, the next two days is about listening, absorbing. If you like an idea, write it down. If you think the speaker's nuts and he doesn't know your industry, circle that and star it ten times. That's where the disruption happens.